joke. What's going on? Y'all know who this is. This legend of all about the kicks. Scratch that channel, put a like on that button. Now, Boosie only sold 500 copies of his album. This album is fire, yo. I don't know why y'all ain't supporting Boosie album, man. I know he's independent. He has, you know, he do his own thing. But it's like the album's fire. Like I had to listen to it three times to really listen to the album. Like this album is dope. And you know, I haven't listened to a Boosie album maybe in a couple, let's say a couple years, maybe a year or two years. He came out with another album before I didn't ever listen to it. But this Boosie album right here, it's fire. And he only sold 500 copies. That's that's crazy. Like that's real crazy. Back, in, I I don't know. That's I mean I know he didn't really promote it like he should have, but. I mean, Boosie got mad fans, mad fans. Every time he, he tour or do a, a stadium, not stadium, I don't mean say stadium. <laughs> he do stadiums too, but not like, with other people. But when he do like, you know, little small venues and jump, he's selling out 5,000, 6,000. So I was like, how y'all don't buy his album? You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be a sleeping, a sleeping album of 2023. I'm dead serious. Like people gonna come back maybe a year later, but like, yo, I didn't know Pussy came up with an album. But yeah, that that album is is fire. Next topic, we gonna talk about another artist that only sold ten thousand copies. I like her. You know, that's Benzito daughter. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who that is. Uh, Cardi, she dope, man. I like her, man. I don't I don't like the new songs on this new album. I didn't listen to the whole album, but the singles, I don't really like them. I mean, she do put out good stuff, but this this one, I just don't know. I mean, I know people clowning her like, you need to give up, you know, give up the music. Like, she got mad hits, so you can't say that. Her singles is selling, but her albums ain't, ain't selling like that. And you got to understand, the record company these days don't care about albums. They just put an album out, they don't even care. They care about the singles. They want the singles to go platinum and triple platinum and all that. That's what they want. They don't care nothing about the albums no more. Because you're not getting album sales no more. And back in the day, you get that 10, 12 hours a, a, a CD. You're not getting that. You're getting streams. So they want the singles, you know what I'm saying? And it sucks how the music industry is now because it's just crazy, yo. Like, I used to like, I could go to the store, cop the CD, look at the credits, see who wrote this, see who wrote the hooks. And it's, it's, I mean, you still could do that, but you gotta go on your phone and do all that type of stuff. But I like to have it in my hands. Times change so much. I, I mean, I like the new technology, but I feel like I wish CDs would have still been around. I don't get me wrong. I got mad CDs at the crib. I might have like 1,500, 2,000 CDs at the crib. But the CDs sound way better than you use your Wi-Fi. If you listen to your Wi-Fi on your car and put a CD in, if you had a CD player in your car, you would see the difference. The bass is different. It's more louder. It's more clearer. It's more everything. You know what I'm saying? Plus, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can't use no music. So that's what sucks about it. You know what I'm saying? If your internet get turned off or your phone, you, you can't listen to the freaking music. You got to take somebody else's Wi-Fi to try to listen to the music. So that's what sucks about that. You know, you got a CD player, you just pop that bad boy in and boom, you pop it. So, I mean, I miss the CDs, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Time is going to change and, you know, there's it it nothing you can do about it. You know what I mean? But, like I said, Gardy, she only sold 10,000 copies, man. And Benzino got to be proud of her, man, because, like, she was a better rapper than him. Like Benzito has some a few hits, not like big big hits, but he has a few hits. And I like I like Benzito's second album. It was fire, but um he he's not doing the, the the stuff his daughter is doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not talking about like the hip hop scenes. We know he he killed the source and all that, but I'm talking about the music industry. Like he can rap, but he wasn't like you know he's not doing the numbers that his his daughter is doing. You know platinum singles and all that. She might not be selling no albums right now, but. I give her maybe her third or fourth album. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying she should get a ghostwriter. I don't know if she got a ghostwriter or not. I really don't know. But I feel like you might have to, you know, team up with a few players, man, to get some better, better, you know, music and put a better album together. Like, I don't know her album's corny because I'm going to listen to it today. And now I get back to y'all about the album. But, I mean, selling 10 k is real bad. <laughs> you know, a lot of these rappers is not selling a lot of albums like they used to, man. If you're not Future, Drake, and Lil Wayne or uh, other people... I don't know. But listen, man, subscribe to the channel, put a like and a button. We out of here. One love.